Hello. Welcome again. Hi. How are you? What did they say in Texas, Gloria, howdy. when you greet the people? I got me a shirt the other day that says, you had me at howdy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. Howdy. That is so cute. How about how about you, Las Vegas? Las Vegas area. Uh, do you have a do you have a greeting? Just say hi or, or what's up. I yeah. guess. Hi or what's, what's up? Going what's going on? Yeah. 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 I don't know Minnesotan. We talk different. <laughs> How do you say it? Hello. <laughs> that is so different. I, Isn't yeah. that so different? Yeah. It, we're different because we think we're different. That's I don't right. know. But anyway, we are glad that you joined us today. And again, it is a blessing to bring God's word to you. And today we're going to talk about how to be an overcomer. Oh, that's a good topic. That's a good thing. How that's a to good be thing. an overcomer. First John chapter 5, 4 through 5. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is he who overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? That is kind of a question, mm -hmm. but it isn't a question. It That's should right. be like a statement of fact, but it is talking about uh, who it says is an overcomer. That's right. That's a rhetorical question. Yeah. He's not asking for an answer. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. It's kind of like when you ask your children, shouldn't you flush that toilet? You're not asking for it. You're not asking for a yes or no. You're saying get over there and flush that thing, buddy. Um, come on. So that being said, let's move right in. <laughs> he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God is he who overcomes the world. Number one, born of God. That's who an overcomer is. You must believe that Jesus is the Savior. He is the overcomer. And when you get in Christ Jesus, you become one with the overcomer. And you may not feel like an overcomer every day, but that doesn't mean anything that, you know what, you're still an overcomer because of your positioning, right? So whosoever believes Jesus is the Son of God. So we tap into truth, we get born again, and you are born an overcomer. Now, what does that mean? You don't know what that means. I didn't know what that meant. I mean, when I got born again, I did not know the fullness of what that meant. So how do you find that out? Read the word. <laughs> This is a mirror. This tells you who you are in Christ Jesus. When you're reading the word about Jesus, it's telling you who you are because as he is, so are we now. Mm -hmm. He is an overcomer. And so if, if you have, if you don't realize that you have authority and you've been positioned in authority to overcome, you need to read about that because you have. Mm -hmm. If you don't realize that you can resist the devil after you've submitted to God and he will flee from you, you can because that is what we have as an overcomer. There are so many things that we just don't realize the fullness of the benefit package that we have right. when we step into Christ Jesus. You may not know that Holy Spirit dwells in you now. You may not know that. I didn't know that. The day after I got born again, no. I didn't realize all that. I didn't realize I had the mind of Christ in there. And I got it, looked at myself in the mirror and I knew something was different, but I looked the same and I'm thinking the same. Well, guess what? Those are the two things that have to change. Yeah. Flesh has to be put under and that mind has to be renewed. And then you realize what does it mean when he says, I am an overcomer. Because regardless of the situation, regardless of what you feel, you are an overcomer if you are in Christ Jesus. That's just the way it is. You're positioned there. Yeah. And if you operate, if you will operate there, then you'll get the benefit of that. And if you don't, you won't. That's true. That's so true. I was just thinking about um, being an American citizen. Yes. Right? Absolutely how many, perfect. Right. How many of us, we know the privileges and rights that come to be of, of American citizen, mm -hmm. but sometimes new people coming in that study all about citizenship know more about being an American citizen than someone who doesn't someone who's born here, and how born. important it is yeah right. and that, how important it is to be in the word and to know what your rights are mm -hmm. and how we are seated and what god sees right. us as um, one of the things i think is agreeing with god and never again confessing that you are a failure or a loser i hate that That's i terrible. hate when i hear somebody say i'm just a loser mm -hmm. i can't do anything right Right. I just, it just hurts me, actually. It hurts me because I think, you don't know who you are. That's right. That's right. Whose you are, 
and who lives on the inside of you and yet they're just conditioned to think well I've made this mistake this mistake this mistake but God doesn't see us like that no. when we're born again That's right. we are now an overcomer as a child of God and in a family of overcomers right we're in a family of overcomers Amen. so every born again child is what an overcomer is an overcomer you whether you know every right and privilege that you have or whether you're walking in it right mm -hmm. now he sees your ability Oh, I like that. Or his yes. ability in us right. to be there. That's right. So, Amber, you love the Word of God. We love we love the Word of God Absolutely. at this table. What is your favorite overcomer scriptures? Um, I have a, quite a few, so I'm going to look on my phone because it's quicker. Mm -hmm. um, one of them is Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So when we speak his word, because sometimes, um, you know, we may not feel a certain way or, you know, you might feel like downtrodden, but his word like this will help you to know that you're always caused to triumph with him. You can always overcome with him. Um, another one is 1 John 5. But when you talk about being an overcomer and you say, I can do all things through Christ who strengtheneth me, you mean you don't go by your feelings or what you think? <laughs> no. No? You can't go. I, no. I, I mean, sometimes if I went by how I felt, I would just like stay at home in my bed and not do anything and just... <laughs> Because, you know, we all have those days sometimes. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. But, That's right. you know, the Lord, He encourages, and then His Word encourages, and then just seeing, like, He knows the outcome and how we're going to get through this and overcome this. That's and right. a lot of things that come up, they're temporary, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, sometimes it seems like it lasts forever, or you're like, why is this taking so long? But it's really that's temporary compared to eternity so um first john 5 4 to 5 says for whatsoever is born of god overcomes the world and this is the victory that overcomes the world even our faith who is he that overcomes the world but he that believes that jesus is the son of god mm. so he helps us to overcome um i have quite a few more i don't do you want me to keep going yeah okay. yeah while you're looking for the next one, uh, I had a niece who was a hockey player, and um, she uh, went to college on a hockey scholarship. And I would, I would love to go watch her play because if there'd be a breakaway with that puck, she'd be, she'd be on it, and we'd be up in the stands cheering her on. And one time I asked her, I said, "Mandy, do you hear us cheer you on?" And she goes, "No." Um, what she hears is herself telling herself, go Mandy, go. Go Mandy, go. That's what she said. I'm telling myself, go Mandy, go. Go Mandy, go. And I think about that, how important it is to speak. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Encourage <coughs> ourselves in the Lord. Yeah. Because yeah. there's not always going to be people around you to encourage mm -hmm. you. That's or right. you might not hear. That's right. You might, not always you might have to go to the bathroom and look at yourself in the mirror and say, you are an overcomer. That's right. Come on. You yeah. can do this. You yeah. Do Talk this. to yourself. Yes, Absolutely. You Talk to yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the next one, Psalm 28, 7 and 8, says, the Lord is the strength, is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices and with my song will I praise him. The Lord is a strength, is their strength, or you can say my strength, and he is the saving strength of his anointed. Mm. That's good. The saving good. strength of his anointed. Those are good yeah. scriptures. Yeah. They are good. And there's, yeah. there's a lot more, but you know, for me, I just, sometimes I'll just pull up one and I'll just think about it or I'll just hold on to it for the day like because God knows you know areas we may be struggling in or areas that you know um, we just need to hold that knowing you know God's God will supply all my needs spiritually physically and emotionally according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus you know you just have to like hold on to those knowing like he's given me everything good 
he's giving me every benefit, you know, and he's going to make a way when it looks like it's impossible. And then another thing he's like encouraged me to do, like you could do, speak this over yourself also, but over others is, you know, may look one way. So you call those things to be not as though they are. So it looks like it's this way, but if you speak his word over it, the situation can turn and change. Mm -hmm. And it's because of him, not anything anybody else right. can do. True. Yeah, that's good. True. Things change. Power. Things change by that mm -hmm. power of the word, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That kind of brings us into mm -hmm. that brings us into faith, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and and you know we're talking about stirring yourself up, mm -hmm. uh, speaking the word. You're gonna have to stir yourself up. You've got. You're gonna have to do that. You know, uh, it's interesting in Revelation when Jesus is addressing the churches. He always, he talks about, this is what you're doing right. This is where we need some correction. But he who overcomes, he who overcomes, he says this over and over yeah. again, overcoming is a choice. Yes. It is a willful choice. We'll either go with him or we won't, mm -hmm. right? And so to stir yourself up in your faith so that you stay in expectation of victory. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, that's the deal. Uh, how do we do that? Well, we're going to have to stay in the word. I mean, I, I, how many times have I said this today? Stay in the Word. Read the Word. Read but, the Word. But that's such an important it's so theme. Basic. It is so basic, but it is so vitally so important. So important. You've just got to stay in the Word. Yeah. You, uh, praying in the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Building your faith up in the Spirit. Can I, can I explain to you how that works? I cannot. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that works, but I do know it works because God said it would work. So... When, you, when you're praying in the Spirit, he is, he is encouraging you. You are getting comfort and edification, wisdom. He's talking to you, and it, there's a strength that arises. There is a victorious spirit that arises. Uh, when you are fellowshipping with other believers, and you come in, and you say, you know what I was reading today? Listen to this, and you read it, and you go, oh, my stars. It goes right with what I was reading, and they start talking. Mm -hmm. And the next thing you know, you're talking, and iron is sharpening iron. And you're getting strength from that, and, and you're, you're rising to a higher level. You might walk in oh, like this, and you walk out of a class. You know, this is my thing. I talking about. We right. talked about atmospheres. Right. When we come out of a class where the word has been spoken out of a service, your strength is higher. Mm -hmm. You are healthier than you were when you walked in. Mm -hmm. You have more wisdom. You should expect that to happen. God mm -hmm. intends for that to happen every single time. Yeah. And yes, so that's does. that's part of being victorious. That's part of being mm -hmm. an overcomer mm -hmm. and uh, not allowing these life things that try to come along, the knit noise that try to attach yeah. to get you down. <laughs> Jump on you and get you down. It's like those little I like, like Jurassic Park with those little bitty, I like yeah, those little bitty uh, dinosaurs that come along and rah, 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 they yeah. come chasing after you. Well, don't stump your toe and fall down and lay down because no. you know what they're going to do. They're going to jump on you and eat you alive, right? No, 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 no. You turn around and you for, you you face them and then they would stop and they won't come, right? I mean, yeah. we've got to walk in it. You've got to make yourself yeah. walk in it. That's you have to good. be desirous of it. I, th I truly know that. you yeah. got to be desirous of it. But don't you find the more you read, the more you want to read? Oh, my goodness, yes. The more you read the Word, the more hungry <clears throat> Absolutely. you are for the Absolutely. Word of God. Isn't that so? Yes. And people might have a choice and a decision that they need to make, and they're going, I'm not sure what that decision. Get into the Word of God. Just start reading the Word, and He will instruct us. You know, it's happened time Absolutely. and time and time Absolutely. again. And I think the other thing when it comes to being an overcomer is the adversary. <clears throat> mm -hmm. He is going to resist that, yes. the adversary. So how do we deal with negative thoughts and temptations that come? How, how do we do that? Well, one um, scripture, 2 Corinthians 10, 5, it says, Casting down imaginations and every high thing mm -hmm. that insults itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. So a lot of it is, you know, in our thoughts and our thinking, that's where the enemy will try to sneak in and, you know, put certain thoughts in there that don't line up with God's word. And then, you know, if you think on certain things, you know, like temptations and things like that, you could fall into that. And so um, we're to cast down vain imaginations and to line up with the word of God and then when God gives the escape for the temptation of course 
take the escape, you know? <laughs> Get out of there. Thanks. Get away from Sweet. it, you know? If, it's, yeah. if you're some, something you're struggling with or something mm -hmm. that, you know, is trying to lure you in the wrong direction. And, you know, God always makes a way of escape. He's done it for me many times. And, mm -hmm. and sometimes it took me a little bit longer to take the escape because I was like, well, but, and then afterwards I'm like, Okay, thank you, Lord. Like, be smarter, Amber. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> come on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, and I think, too, I think when you talk about how about those temptation patterns, mm -hmm. those thought patterns that'll just loop to do, they'll just loop around in your mind and your will. And then people, like, they might be sad one day, so um, they might be listening to all this bluesy type yeah. of music instead of putting in the opposite right yes. instead of putting in the opposite to encourage themselves and build themselves up they'll just allow those patterns to keep keep going and um, i know for myself that when i am dealing with a, a loop of negative thoughts or whatever that'll try to come in that i know there's got to be a cog of the word the word has got to stop that you know yes. i've got to speak that out of my mouth mm -hmm say no um, and we speak that we are overcomers and we talk about his finished work you think about jesus christ he finished the work mm -hmm. he didn't it's leave finished. one yep. thing undone right and when he said it is finished mm -hmm. it was completed was it was completed so when we step into his word when we step in we can step in with confidence and we boldly can say we overcome temptations and all forms of evil because that doesn't trump uh you know evil does not trump uh light darkness does not overcome light you can't. know you, you even no it can't I mean, you can flip on a light mm -hmm. switch and you know darkness mm -hmm. is gone that darkness isn't going to overcome that light right mm -hmm. i think also standing on your rights and privileges you have in christ get into the word of god and find out who you are in him find in him scriptures ephesians and colossians are full of who we are in him and never forget that god dwells in you never forget that never forget how valuable you are to god and acknowledge and accept what he says about you don't be talking what somebody else says about you well so and so said this well i'm sorry that probably hurts you but that's not who you are right, right? that's not whose you are um and so forth so right now we're going to do a declaration of faith if we could together sure i'm going to read it out and if you'll just speak this out afterwards um this is what we're talking about getting the word in your mouth speaking it out so i am a world overcomer i am, I am a world, world overcomer. overcomer jesus lives in me jesus lives in me since he is an overcomer since he is an, an overcomer, overcomer i am an overcomer i am an overcomer what jesus achieved on the cross what jesus achieved on the cross was done was done so i could live victoriously so i could live victoriously my faith in his resurrection my faith in his resurrection is the victory is the victory that overcomes the world that overcomes the world i overcome i overcome by the blood of the lamb by the blood of the lamb and the word of my testimony and the word of my testimony <laughs> Amen. If you're amen. having a difficult time, amen, right now, go out and tell somebody about Jesus. Go out and tell somebody about what he's done in your life and just watch mm -hmm. how that lifts you and brings you through. Thank you for joining us. God bless you, and we'll see you soon.